To an untrained eye, these paintings look professional. But up until a few years ago, Wilder Hoxie never even picked up a paintbrush. I've never taken any art classes or um, yeah, really worked with other people. Like I said, it's just kind of been an individual hobby that I was interested in and pursued on my own. The construction contractor says it was his job that actually pushed him to pursue painting in watercolors. I, I travel a lot for work and so I'm out of town uh, often in very remote areas and uh, have some of a high stress job and so to be able to come home or on the weekend uh, just pick up a paintbrush or a pencil, it's, uh, it's a great release for me. Last year, the Wisconsin native spent 10 months in Carmengay, Alberta constructing a wind farm. And it was during that time most of these paintings came to be. I was actually living in a basement suite with terrible lighting and uh, I would lie on my floor in the basement suite and just paint that way. <laughs> and then uh, I'm currently living in Southern California and uh, brought a, actually brought an easel out and got wonderful natural light and I was like, wow, this is a lot more easier to paint out here than, than in Canada in the wintertime. His Alberta-inspired paintings inspired this woman who decided he should let the world see his talent. And he was showing me pictures of a construction site that he had been working on in China. I found it fascinating that he's worked all over the world in his position. And he was showing me snapshots of these construction projects and suddenly an image came up of a painting and he just flew right past it. And then another image came up of another painting, flew right past that, and I said, wait a minute, go back. I said, what is that? And who did it? And he said, oh, I did it. He just brushed it off. I was just fascinated. As part of a Toastmasters project, Elizabeth McLaughlin decided to facilitate an art exhibit for Hoxie. I was her guinea pig. Something about his images appealed to me. I was really drawn to them, even though I didn't know anything about art. So I thought, I wonder if they're good or if it's just me. And that's when I took several of his pieces to a professional artist, an art teacher, and she said they were indeed good. She said they showed a lot of potential. She said that they were certainly worthy of exhibiting here in the McCain Gallery and she offered on the spot to help me mount the exhibit. They are now on display in the Coaldale Public Library until the end of June. That's all the proof I needed. When a professional artist was willing to put her name behind this project, I knew the work was good. For Go Southern Alberta, I'm Jeanette Roche.